such a remarkable it's an car. looking car. It's a lot of fun to drive. The thing's fast, I tell you. Do you drive Ooh. it much? I drive it some, not a whole bunch. Not a whole bunch? Mainly because I don't want to go to jail. This I can't go to jail no. in. This I can really get in trouble. <laughs> Joey Logano is one of the top NASCAR competitors. His passion and aggressive driving style are polarizing forces among fans and fellow drivers. I got to spend the day with him doing all kinds of things, most of which turned into competitions. <laughs> this place is enormous. Yeah, this is the Garage Mahal. Yeah. yeah and you walk in this place, you're like, Whoa, right? and as a race car driver, you want to be with the best, right? Yep. And when you walk in a building like this, not as the building the best, but the people in it, that's what really makes a difference. And when it all comes together on a race weekend and you're able to pull in the victory lane, everyone yep. from every department uh, makes a big impact on being able to get there. One of, I guess, most um, important relationships is it would be with your crew chief, I imagine. It's probably the most important. There's all this engineering, there's all this you know, simulation, all this data that we can process. But when we get in the race car, that's not there. All the mechanical side of the car has to come from what I feel as a race car driver. Yep. And then I need to communicate that to my crew chief yeah. through words. I put my feelings into words, which we all know is hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then he needs to figure out from the engineering side, what is the right adjustment? What is the right changes to make to our car to make it as fast as possible? And we have to do that quick and we have to be precise. Well, you're 27 years old now. You're a nine year veteran. Just what motivates you change? Honestly, no. No, the passion to win has been like that from the get-go. You know, the, the racing part I enjoy, right? But the winning part is, is what this is all about. It's always been about winning and taking home the trophy. Logano wins at Talladega. Logano wins at Phoenix. Logano's going to win at the Glen. The lengths Joey goes to win are astounding. I experienced a drive in Joey that doesn't seem to leave much to chance. His strenuous workout was no different. Right now, Joe is in season, so we really want to make sure that he is flexible and has a lot of muscle endurance. Um, he's going for hours at a time, so uh, it's more of a mental focus for him to make sure that he is ready to go throughout the whole race and he can physically and mentally be prepared for the race. There's no doubt about it, Joey is an athlete. He needs aerobic fitness and significant strength to overcome the forces he experiences in his race car. And he's training his body accordingly. What are some of the things that you're actually training for? Because obviously NASCAR is hugely demanding on your body. The heat and the time is probably the most uh, challenging part, right? And being able to stay focused for three hours. Consider this. A NASCAR driver experiences temperatures of 140 degrees in the race car over a four hour period. In each turn, their bodies experience two or three Gs, which means a 175 pound driver would feel about three to 500 pounds. That's around 60 pounds pulling on their head alone. So is it true what they say about race car drivers losing pounds and pounds and pounds of body weight during the course of a race, or is that just yeah. something over here? No, it's true, and it's probably different for each driver yeah. on how much, but uh, you, know, you lose a good three, four pounds at least um, during an event, just because of the temperature. What level are you on, just quickly? What are you on? Oh, I'm on like, hang on. I'm on the top level, whatever that is. Yeah, okay, yeah, now you are. <laughs> oh, you want to crank oh, it yeah. up here? Yeah. All right, let's crank it up. Is it, is it always a competition with you? As long as I'm winning. After the workout, Joey took me over to his 20,000 square foot facility that sits on 27 acres at his home for Joey Logano Racing, his car collection, his non-profit foundation, and Clutch Studios, a marketing and production company. So there's a lot of cool cars in here, I know, but we gotta start where it all started. Yeah. And this to me might be the coolest car. This was uh, my first quarter midget. This is the first car it's I raced. Amazing. And uh, my dad just happened to keep it. Yeah. They all have an interesting story. This is the first car I bought uh, when I was driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. I was 16 years old and a 6140 Conaline up there. We redid that one in here. We put a camper in the back. Old Cutlass, not much of a story, just a cool car. This is unique for your That's, collection. Yeah, right? It kind of a little different. So it's an 04 T-Bird, my wife's dream car. We pulled up in one night and there was a car. She was like, crying, oh my God, I can't believe the car. And then boom, there was the ring. Oh, and she said yes, thing. it was really good. <laughs> it was really good. And this car up here, I raced when I was 14. The ASA 14 series. 14 years old. Yes. And the ASA series went out of business. 
And so now we had these cars that we dumped a lot of money into yeah. that aren't worth anything because there's nowhere to race them. And we decided, you know what? How cool would it be to put a passenger seat in this car and make it street legal? How are the police though? The first time I drove it, I got pulled over three times in one day. So you've got the Model A here, but then... Really, the Model T is the most fun car to drive that no. I have. I swear, it is so much fun. It, you feel like you're going 120 when you're going 20. Oh, I can you're believe totally that. Totally in the way going Are down they the road. wooden spokes? Yes, <laughs> and it feels amazing. like it too. Believe me. So you've got the oldest car that Ford's ever made. The right new and next old. To the, such a remarkable it's an amazing car. looking car. It's a lot of fun to drive. The thing's fast, I tell you. What do you say we go for a little race? Let's take something out for a spin. So what are you thinking? Like the Model T or the I GT? I think the T would be fun. The T? What do you think? Yeah, yeah. that's fun to me. Oh. Oh, no. That's, that's not ideal. <laughs> yeah, there's no windows on the Model T. Um, uh, well, we're not going to take that out. Yeah. But I have something cooler. What an absolutely fascinating day hanging out with Joey Logano, mate. You have a very full life. Yeah, there's a lot going on There's a lot going on, but... At least you ended with some fun. Absolutely, and that's what I like about it. You obviously haven't let it get in the way of having a good time. You're driven to win, you're passionate, and I've got a good feeling that 2018 is going to be a great season for you. I hope so. Joey Logano, everybody. <laughs>